Hey, this is Evan from Octane and Electrons. Uh, today we're gonna do a video looking at the Innova 6030 OBD scanner. So it comes in a fairly plain box here. Let me go ahead and open it up. Let's see. Okay, so it's in a plastic tray. Get that out of the way. All right, we have instruction manual. All right, quick start guide. I've seen enough of these. I generally don't look at them too much. And free app repair solutions, Perry scan tool to mobile device. That's interesting. And then we have the scanner. So pretty standard, simple OBD scanner, cable, We've got uh, screen, buttons feel good, rubberized, link, menu, live data, diagnostic codes, system status, erase codes, up and down and enter. So pretty simple, looks like, yeah, it's got a screen protector on it. It looks like, yeah, I'll go ahead and pull that off. Okay, there we go. So it had plastic on it. There we go, nice shiny screen. Okay, cool. It looks good, not a lot to see here. We'll go plug it in in the truck. I have a 2007 Ford F-150, so we'll take a look at it on there. And uh, let's see what it can do. Okay, so we're here in the truck. I am going to plug it in to the OBD port. Okay. Trying to find a good spot without glare. Okay, there we go. So, good color screen, select a language, press enter, select English. Okay, unit of measurement, standard and metric, standard. Repair Solution 2, get even more with the Repair Solution 2 mobile app, gain free access to vehicle health reports, verified fixes. So that's cool, I'm filming on my phone, so I don't really have a way to connect it and uh, record that. Repair tool, scan the QR code, download Repair Solutions. Okay, cool. So I'm going to skip that. I'm not going to use that for now. Okay, there's all our software information. Auto link in progress. Let me turn the key on. Okay, key is on. Auto link in progress. Still haven't downloaded Repair Solutions. Get a verified fix. Okay. No problem. I'm not going to do that now. Okay. Let's see what we got. Emission related engine DTCs. No powertrain DTCs or freeze frames stored. Okay. Which, uh, yeah, this truck is an 07 with like 35,000 miles on it. It has no problems, no check engine lights. So I never have anything to scan or show on here. So all my emission monitors are ready, except for EVAP, which I don't think this truck doesn't have. That always shows on these um, scanners, and I think it's not supported by this year of truck. Um, okay, so nothing we can do with the menu buttons right now. So let's see, erase. Yeah, we already know we don't have any, so let's go ahead and erase. Okay. So that's cool, that's a shortcut button that'd be used pretty often. Okay, I wanna skip that. All right, any hotkey. System status, global OBD2. Okay, so that takes us to the monitor readiness screen, which we're already at. And I think, yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that, but that's okay. I don't have any emissions tests coming up. By clearing codes, I reset all the emissions monitors, so they're going to be flagged now as not ready. So there's no trouble codes, but the monitors are not set for an uh, emissions test, but that's okay. After some driving, they will be. Um, diagnostic codes and freeze frame data. Let's see. So that would probably show us any stored codes, but of course I don't have any, so we can't view any right now. That's okay. Link, I think we'll go back and read detect and link to the computer. Yep. Okay. Looks like it reminds you about this app connection every time. All right. 
menu system tests OBD monitor tests let's take a look at what these do okay select gas S sensor okay so it tells us current voltage or report from any of the sensors okay evap test monitor test sends trouble codes yeah some of these are incomplete because I reset it that's okay keep going back to the menu okay vehicle information let's see yep there we go all right what else available modules obd2 and can battery and alternator test let's see all right i did not turn on my headlights that right now there we go off headlights okay done and continue start engine one time battery status good all right go back alternator test it's running engine running normal temperature start engine turn on headlights well pretty hot outside we're not at full temp but let's see what it says 13.8 volts engine rpm to 2000 okay there's 2000 rpm Okay, back to idle, headlights off. Good, charging voltage within specification. All right, right on, that's pretty cool to have built in. Drive cycle procedures, is this your vehicle? Yes. Complete monitors, misfire, fuel. Okay, what are incomplete? Oxygen sensors, catalyst, evap. Right on, so that's cool. It gives you a report of what's set and what's not. This doesn't have any service monitors to reset. Tool library. That's cool. Gives you a uh, menu of uh, explaining all the icons. That's excellent. Okay. And let's hit live data and see what we can look at. Okay, powertrain live data. Select and press to graph. All right, let's find something interesting to look at. Let's look at engine RPM, hit enter to graph. I love these that let you graph live on the scan tool, it can be really useful. Right on. So, not so much for engine RPMs, probably not that useful, but graphing, especially if you're trying to Let's see. Troubleshoot a problem, being able to graph it. TPS, let's look at that. Sorry, throttle position sensor. Right on. So those can be useful to see a live graph and see if a sensor is reacting the way you expect it to. So, right on, well cool. Back to system status. Oh, we didn't check ABS. Let's see if that, that tells us. Ford ABS, lost communication. Okay, this might not support that. This is an old truck. And back to our main menu. 
Yep, right on. Well, cool. This is a nice, compact, basic scanner. Got a good plastic case. I like the color screen is excellent. Easy to read, easy to use. Menus are really simple and obvious. Um, definitely, I will check out that uh, app and the Bluetooth connection. That's pretty cool, but I just don't have a way to film it. So um, I'll check that out. Definitely worth looking at. And I'll put in the YouTube comments what I think about that. So yeah, this is the Innova 6030P, and I think this is a great low-cost scanner, USB port, and um, yeah, works well. So I would definitely recommend it. Good low-cost uh, scanner to check out your car. All right, thanks for uh, thanks for watching. See ya.